very good morning to you all hope you're doing well i suppose the big news was the downgrade of the U u.s uh, economy and it had gone from uh aa plus to triple a and uh oh, the, janet yellen was uh <laughs> asked to comment and she was saying it was arbitrary and outdated but that's her job she's not gonna say that the u.s economy is stagnating or anything like that she's just gonna defend it and uh Lots of stuff. So just do a Google on Fitch downgrade. And the last time this happened at the Open, the Dow Jones fell 600 points. Whether or not we'll see it again, because uh, things have changed because people are going to be <laughs> more on social media and the herd are going to be probably be quite interested in selling if they think they can make an easy buck. And they think that the Dow Jones is going to fall. They're going to be quick to sell it. So it might not actually tumble at the open. So just a bit of psychology there, some fundamental bearish news, uh, but we'll have to see what happens with the sentiment. And um, I was thinking we probably would have had a greater difference in the 24 hour change uh, because the risk, the technical risk help really, really, really fell. Um, we were 80 and now we're 33. Now what this is dumped because the um, S&P, NASDAQ and the Russell dumped the VIX spiked and the treasury yield spiked and um, individual companies fell too and the dollar index rose uh, because of that we had a massive dump of the technical scores so i think this is going to change by tomorrow and uh, we do tend to peak out at minus 20 so that's of note and it's also think about the preta principle as well when we're looking at 80 20 and this is probably the limit of the bears patience and the uh, you know their finance um you know that their threshold you know in their account they were bearish all the way up as we went into this huge bull run for the last god knows how long it's been going on for months and months and months and this is like the breaking point so minus 20 could be the breaking point of the bears and we could be a bit toppy especially if we see this fits downgrade as well um let's show you the uh um thingy uh i should have closed telegram oh that's fine um i'll show you dax but we'll just quickly look at gold so i think what might happen is that they might go long we're going to get the sell uh they had sold but this went sideways so we've got to be careful when things go sideways if they're gonna buy we'll, we'll fall here and they went long so we created a box we created supply i'll show you dax um yeah we have to be careful there because we're a little bit sideways i'll show you dax dax is bonkers and um uh yeah boom um so we can create a supply yeah <laughs> it's actually really really uh quite ugly looking yeah is it gonna map it has to think about it <laughs> oh slow all right i didn't quite grab it but you get you know get that high to that low so it's getting slow again I wonder why that is it's really weird <laughs> um so it admittedly wasn't like perfectly uh matched but it's that candle there so they went long so therefore we fell right and they're continuing to go long which is really interesting uh maybe a ton of stops here potentially um might just want to come and get that liquidity <laughs> pretty horrible and um s p oh god it's slow again horrible and um so they've just made a buy so uh with it, i guess this might fall we shouldn't fall because they've sold it oh i wonder why it just gets slow <laughs> terrible so we should be above this box um because they sold it but it might just be to do with that downgrade maybe Oh, come on. <laughs> but anyway, you get the idea. They've sold it, so we should be above this. 4561. Okay, be careful. And Dow. Um, US 30. We might be on a bit of a roller coaster today, and we've got NFP nonsense as well. And we could probably do with uh, this bit consolidating now, aren't we? You can see we're trying to get higher. Uh, they'd sold it, um, so we can make a box. Uh, 
here and this one. So this is uh, should be above this. So S and P in the Dow Jones is uh, being slightly naughty, and um, so much just that they've sold it. So we should be above those boxes. And um, so I guess it is a quick one today. We'll look at the SLCs for the cross yen uh, quickly. Just a three minute video, and that'll go into Patreon and um, robot, I suppose, quickly. Just to say with the robot, be patient. One guy, um, he didn't have enough patience and he increased his lot sizes and uh, it didn't do him any good because we're still testing and uh, now he's left. So <laughs> I went to retain people. So don't don't change things, be patient. And once, once we've given the green light to increase lot sizes, then you can do it, but we're still testing. So don't change anything. It also, um, he also change some of his settings. You'd only open one uh, trade, but the point of this is that we have open aggregate positions, and then that's how we make our profits. So he changed uh, one aspect of his uh, settings, and he also increased the lot size as well. So uh, it's like a double whammy of things not to do. So just keep things as they are, and then inevitably we'll be good to go live. Maybe September. I've been saying it for a while, but I just want make sure this is fine and of course we've got a few things that could go wrong like the api and um the formula should be fine now uh, because it's locked in but you know there are things that might go wrong so we just still need to be a little bit careful once we've got like solid weeks of profit then you know we've got something to fall back on knowing that it's going to work when we go live so uh we'll just see how we go remember to trade safely and it could be a very interesting day ahead in terms of risk appetite and i think this is probably going to change by tomorrow and whether or not we peak at minus 20 which would make sense if we look at the Pareto principle um so uh let's see how we go home to trade safely and i'll speak to you guys soon